Let's have a look at question seven now. It's also about choices. And we solve question, when we solve questions about choices, it's more about intuition rather than math. So in this case, we have these two boys, Bill and Joe. Then we know that Bill buys a $30 ticket to a basketball game. So he already has the ticket. Let's write here. Bill has already the ticket. $30 ticket. Um, Joe also wants the same game, but he doesn't buy the ticket yet because he knows it's possible to buy it right at the game. Now, all of a sudden, there's a storm and that's definitely less attractive to travel to the game because the game is 50 miles away. Now, if both of them have the same tastes and are rational, who is more likely to go to the game? And let's use common sense here. Let's compare the two guys. This is Bill, who already paid for the ticket. And then we also have Joe on the other side, who didn't pay anything yet. Now, Bill, having the ticket in his pocket, all he has to do to drive through the snow is just to drive. He has to pay for the gas and the discomfort of driving. So, Bill is missing just the drive. Now, what is Joe missing? Joe is missing the ticket and he's also missing the drive. So the resistance to go to the match is higher for Joe. He has to incur more cost in terms of money and in terms of effort of going there. So using intuition, using common sense, who is more likely to do something? The guy with less effort of doing so is more likely to go to the match. So in this case, just by looking at this simple graph, we can see that Bill is more likely to go because he only has to drive. And that's it. We are done.